channel. Can't believe now you. Now people can see me audibly say things. Yes. It's nice to know, so people can't be like, Oh, who are these assholes that are talking up all over the stream and bullshit? I feel like you were no. going for an accent, and I don't know what it was. So obviously, the audience has to guess who me and Chitlin could possibly be. The <laughs> accent, by the way, is, um... Shit, who made the room again? Tommy Wiseau. Oh. <laughs> Tommy Wiseau's very... ambiguously vague accent. Why is everybody so negative towards the English anime song? Because, uh... English anime music is always goofy. And it's still kind of fucking loud. Where the hell is... There we are. Much better. So apparently there's still another half of this dungeon to do. Okay. Also, you were posting what? You were posting that you're like fucking. You apparently fucked up really bad. How bad did you fuck up, Shitlin? I. I okay. I didn't really fuck up per se, but I did spend 14 hours at work today. And yeah, that is I a did, fuck up. It, 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 it's only a fuck up when you realize that I'm trying not to do that anymore. Yeah, you kind of fucked up, Chitlin. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's not that bad of a fuck up, okay? Oh right, we're in caster territory, so I gotta magic all this bullshit to death. Luckily, we're higher level, so I can just straight up cast right out the gate. Yeah, Chitlin, you don't need to work all the time. You just need to do LPs with me forever. Uh. Yeah, that's a definite no. <laughs> <laughs> Even for me, I'm just like, nah. Because I'm pretty sure once I'm done with Darkest Dungeon and Odin Sphere, I'm just going to turn off my brain for an entire year. Yeah. Because, oh man, doing those at the same time was a huge mistake. No, it's the best idea. I don't know what you're talking about. No, it, it actually is a horrible, horrible mistake. And that I mistake you'll do many times over. Hey, trap disarmed. Good, good job, Gun Dad. You got us a pinwheel. I also gotta say something weird I've noticed about the uh, the victory music in this game. It's, it feels a lot more depressing compared to the other games. Depressing victory music. It feels like it to me, at least. Huh, I wonder where the team that was ahead of us went. Oh well, fuck them. Oh no, I'm tiny. I know what happened to him, you killed them, that's what happened. Oh, by the way, the asshole brigade is here. Just stand on these freaking gallows' shoulders, you stupid idiot. It's so high up, I just gotta reach it myself, no one. I love how this one guy's like, why does everybody hate us? Well, we're trying to steal artifacts, so we're gonna destroy the planet. And fuck, he, he gets beamed in the nose again. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> because we have no social grace, it's just like boss. Why did everybody hate it so much? Because you're dicks. Pretty much. Scumbag. That's an understatement. I'm an asshole. Ooh. Good music. Uh, what am I going to do here? I don't think I'm going to do... Scumbag. That's an understatement. I'm not a scumbag. I'm... an asshole. It's the same thing! There are many, many different levels between scumbag and asshole, I feel. 
Like Please. dipshit, for instance. Ex explain to me the higher... <laughs> the hierarchy of being shit. Show like me this pyramid. It's less a pyramid and more of a really fucked up Venn diagram at this point. That's There's not... That's not leveled at all. <laughs> I know! That's what makes it so confusing. It's actually a pie chart, you see. Mm-hmm. Alright, so... No, no guns and whistles, no bells and whistles, we're just gonna get shot here. I thought they were gonna do their stupid te What? I can't debuff them. Okay. Alright. Well, why would you want to debuff them? Because it actually helps in this game. Wow. That's like a first for an RPG. Yeah, debuffs work, buffs work, uh, scan is helpful. Enemies have dynamic weaknesses, like a guy with an afro could get it caught on fire and then be- Oh, fuck, they're doing their technique. And also that these guys are at probably actually doing things, like attacking. Because... Earlier, when they fought, when Highwing fought all three of them together, the two dudes that's not the guy in the red weren't doing anything at all besides their ultimate move. Was that like a budget Knights of the Round they just did? Yes! Did you see some of the stuff they did? It was really bullshit. One guy hit him with his ass. Yeah. Like, for instance, a ninja, all he did was keep losing his nerve, and a tall guy, all he did doing was zipping up his fly. Zip up. Just keep zipping up his <laughs> pants. Because I guess he doesn't have a button on his pants or something. D does does he zip it down or does he just he zip, he zip it up? up? He just... keeps zipping up. Hello, okay, just... I muted again and turboed the game. Whoops. Wow. Good job, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> like, my mute button is right next to my turbo button. And it's just so easy to fat finger. But yeah, uh, everything Festival said was right. Um... In the first fight, they didn't even attack, they just buffed themselves to be obnoxious so they could just keep spamming their tech, team tech. So that and, um, delete until at one point, what was it delete? Because every time he hurt one of them, the leader would heal 300. Until, so you just gotta shoot the leader enough and the leader just fucks off, leaving you to fight the other two dudes. And then they Maybe finally attack. attack. Ah shit, the boss is gone. I'm just kind of sad that this guy doesn't use his uh, defense buff anymore, where he just zips up his fly. Also, this is a game where you use- this is an RPG where you use guns, so naturally you have to reload. Oh yeah. Just makes sense. Mm-hmm. When you have a sword, you have infinite ammo, you see. When you have throwing daggers, you have infinite ammo, apparently. Why did Squall never have to reload his gunblade? Because his gunblade never actually fired bullets. Yeah, it was basically internal impacts to cause vibrations that would cut. It, it was it was really fucking stupid. Let me tell you what. Yeah, he pulls it. Okay, he pulls the trigger. It hits the blade inside. I don't know where the hell the bullet goes, but it just basically he fires. It, he fires. He pulls a bullet, and then he pulls the trigger, and the the blade just vibrates, essentially. It is really circuitous on how it works. It's like that Metal Gear Solid high fre high frequency blade. Thing, yeah, exactly. Instead with, like, except instead of being powered by like normal means, is powered by firing a bullet into its inside itself. Gun so blades it, were a mistake. So it's like the high frequency blade, except instead of vibrating constantly, it just vibrates once when you hit an enemy. Yeah, at fucking no. an instantaneous moment, too. No. Yeah. No. Not, not when you hit an enemy, when you pull the trigger. Yes. Otherwise, it's just a normal sword. Right, of course. I forgot. That's why it's... gun blades have a mastery, after all. Ow, stop. Yeah, it was a... Oops, I mean, sorry. Oh, as, what? As, as, as stupid as, as Final Fantasy VIII was, it is my favorite Final Fantasy, so... Uh, yeah. man, Janus is a super dick. He just used, um, he just used one of his buddies as a bullet shield. Hell yeah. Like, th this game is really going out of its way to say, hey, Daria's an asshole, dude. Or, Janus. What does everybody hate us? Because their boss is a dick. He gets punched in the face. 
So why did they follow Janice in the first place? There's probably a reason in the plot, so don't worry about it. He bought me a sandwich once, and I vowed my life to him. I owe that man my life after he bought me a sandwich. Oh shit, uh, Gallus is out of ammo. Hey, the Janice guy, he's an okay guy. I followed him to hell and back. Why? He's the first one to point out that my fly was down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Everybody has to reload their gun. Well, at least there's not like, limited reloads. Or anything. Yeah, that's a bit annoying. If you, uh, after you defeat, um, both his dudes, he just fucks off. It's like, well... That sucks. Oh, look at the time. I, I'm, I'm busy. I have to be somewhere. This, this... Boss, it sounds what about like... us? Now you guys can handle it. Boss gets shot in the head by Virginia. No, he actually does stab a third mission. It's just that the anim the uh, camera angle gets goofy at times. No, obviously what the heretic stab is, he kicks the person down, then stabs them. Yeah, I don't think Janus knew what he was getting into this time. We fought a dude with an afro and a samurai sword. I don't think we stood a chance against them. Oh, well, to be fair, he confuses you on, like, for, like, 80% of the time. I am really confused what the rifle guy is doing. Like, uh, he's he, he, his, his idle animation is, like, him trying to hide his face behind his buttstock or something. He's supposed to be obviously, using it. Yeah, obviously, he's using it as a shield, just in case someone comes at him with, like, a sword, so he blocks it with his rifle. Mm -hmm. It's probably not what it is, but that's what like the most sensible thing is to me. I, it it makes more uh, sense than what anything the I was fuck? thinking of. You dick. Oh, uh, don't tell me that Schrodinger stuck the the mask. It's even better. Schrodinger, yeah, that's what I mean. Schrodinger's cat took the cat mask. Or did he? I think he. I think it's confirmed that he did. It's just not confirmed that Schrodinger's cat did it. Hmm. Is it really Schrodinger's cat if we know he was there? Well, it has. Well, somebody took it. <laughs> well, it could have he been Schrodinger's it. cat. Well, they saw it. Yeah, they saw the cat flying slowly through the air. You could have just like shot the cat down, you stupid idiot. Oh, boss, you're stealing the thing. Just I like this. I like this line right here. This is great. Women have been proud for a long time. You just need to date more. <laughs> what an a wow! That's an uh, that's a harsh word. Well, Why don't you remember Highway? She just speaks her mind, and it's, mm -hmm. she just, so it just sounds like she's being harsh. Yeah, that's why I like her. She's great. She's an ass. Well, looks like we're Everyone. fucked. Everyone that's like every leader of every group that's not your group is an ass. Okay, so southwest of Claiborne, there's a tower. Oh fuck! Isn't Kadingle the place in every video game where it's awful? What? I'm asking chat what? primarily because I know Kadingle sounds familiar. Kadingle. Kadingle. That might be the worst town name I've ever heard. That's a dungeon name, but you haven't heard the worst boss name, which his name is Ragu Ragula. <laughs> that's awesome. I can't believe you're gonna be fighting pasta sauce. Yeah, that's yeah. the ju that's what everybody says. See, if he didn't betray Virginia's trust, and then at that point they could have teamed up to kick the show. Oh shit! What? Kick the... Hey Jeff, what did you do? Where did that come from? What? Wow. I'm taking pity on you because I saw that something cool, so I'm going to give you the shield. Yeah, this is basically the main character getting chewed out for being a hypocrite. This is great. This game is this game is really well written. I'm glad it's subverting every damn trope ever.
A trap. Trap? Yes, ask about the trap. <laughs> what the you fucking think it is, you stupid idiot? Well, she does elaborate it into a good reason why she would go... It's more wondering why you would go into a trap willingly rather than what the fuck is a trap. Of course you're going. She has the shield and the other people Is that an shield. Autobot icon? I just now realized this. Da, 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 da. No. No. Hmm. I reject my humanity, Maya. I also love how the white Afro Samurai is just named Todd. Good Todd. Howard. <laughs> <laughs> Don't believe the Samurai's lies. <laughs> how have you not tipped over, Jeff? And why are you sitting all the way over there, Gallows? That's actually a good point by Yar. They're the Schrodingers. If they go into a trap, did they really set off the trap? Well, you don't know until you see them. Yeah. <laughs> In the trap. They both set it off and did not at the same time. That's the entire point. Unless it's observed. You can't... I'm just waiting for Jeff to fall over on his ass on the chair. Oh, I'm going to go into the trap, but since you gave me the, um, the mask, if you don't show up, you can't get the Eternal Sparkle now, can you? Shit! I mean, you want to get at least one of the masks to keep them from getting the Eternal Sparkle, right? Now they have one of the masks, can't they just fuck off now? Yeah, basically. But no, we gotta stop Janice because he's a dick. Yeah, that's kind of the point here. She just has a huge beef with Janice. <laughs> I can't believe she's Eggman and he's Sonic. You're too slow. Well, technically she got there first both times, so... Robotnik is faster than Sonic, actually. Really? Did you see those? Remember those times where after you defeat him at the final stages of one of the Sonic games, you try to oh, chase yeah, after him yeah. and he just like outruns you? I keep forgetting. Because Robotnik's a lazy sack of crap that just drives everywhere. He drives until he must run. People in video games never knew to use blankets. Untrue. Um. Deadly Premonition and I want to say Skies of Arcadia both had the uh, characters sleeping underneath the blanket. Also Mario, uh, Paper Mario. It's because reason why is no one wants to mo make another model of blanket on. Yeah. You either have to give the blanket physics or make another sprite. But basically, yeah, they're just making another model of the blanket lift up, and you just have the character's model clipped inside. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, Brave Fruits and Musashi had a blanket? Cool. Oh, that was a good game. I forgot about that. I played it, and it was okay. I played it, and I got to the point where I ran out of, ran out of healing items, and I got, and got stuck on um, Simon Says, because I'm stupid. <laughs> I hate Jeff's <laughs> motives right here. This is so stupid. I haven't made any money yet, so I'm going to stick around and just keep sinking precious time into this hole. How much money do we have? I could upgrade a gun, but I don't know whose gun should I upgrade. Remember, you only have 15 total levels in each gun. Which means that you had to pour it all in weight. <laughs> what does it even fucking do? I don't know, increase the speed or something. Let's see. Um, I'm not upgrading shot anytime soon. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Oh wow, they don't tell you what... You could upgrade bullet to have more shots. They really need a better acronym for SHOT. I don't think it's fine. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's perfectly fine where it is, don't worry. SHOT is not what I thought when I saw that acronym. 
Weight affects how much FP each Gatling hit costs. Huh. Each Gatling hit, but how many people have the Gatling ability? Well, the other upgrades aren't as expensive. Like, bullets are pretty cheap. Hit is relatively cheap. But do you want to do that and make sure and, like, use up an upgrade level? Or you can just grind and put it all on the shot to make everybody not, like, fire ass and but just do a shit ton of damage. I'm gonna boost Make everybody climb. You should get a BLT. <laughs> I should get a BLT, but nah. Hmm. A realization. I should probably increase a Clive's bullet because I keep getting into problems because I don't. Yes, bacon, lettuce, and tomato. Uh, it <laughs> when you upgrade your, upgrade your BLT on, um, whatchamacallit, Jeff's, his gun just becomes a sandwich. Oh, well, Clive has like a 0.4% like crit rate. Or 0.4%. I'm guessing... I'm guessing increasing your 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 bullet is uh, increasing the clip size or I'm sorry magazine size if TPR is watching. He's not watching. Good. Clip size. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like um, it's probably a magazine only for Clive because he's the only one that looks like he has or, or clip or magazine for his piece of rifle because. Right, well, Gallows uses one of those, uh, it's a, those over-under shotguns, um, Virginia uses revolvers, and Jeff, for whatever reason, it's an SMG that's also a revolver. Yeah, it's a revolver SMG. He just dumps the entire revolver for his attack. Wow. So upgrading the amount of bullets in that just means just getting a new thing that just adds an extra freaking hole in it. Yeah. <laughs> or, oh no, it could be like uh, that dude in No More Heroes 2 who has a revolver of revolver chambers. That's an actual thing. I know, but still. Or it can be like Bioshock 1, where you upgrade the magazine side for your revolver and it just has a stupid film thing. So Southwest, they said, right? Just turn a revolver into the Patriot. <laughs> ah, the Patriot. What a good gun. Yeah, has infinite ammo because the magazine is shaped like the infinity symbol. I thought it was because the barrel was shaped like the infinity symbol. Pretty sure it's a magazine. Yeah. It's probably just a magazine because it's just the because it's a special weapon, you know. It's the boss's weapon. Mm -hmm. The boss. Clive just destroying absolutely everything on his path. I would really <laughs> like it, man. If Kojima went with his original idea for Metal Gear Solid Five. What was that? Uh, make it about the boss. Oh yeah, that would have been cool. Yeah, that would be good. That's what, that's what I thought about. It was like, maybe Ogre Solid 5 is making about the boss in the Cobra unit. That would be cool. Oh, God. Clive has amnesia. Ergo, he doesn't gain any XP. What? That is the status effect in this game. Luckily, I got an item that cures that, so fuck him. Wow. Like, this game doesn't fuck around with status effects. Also, we discovered a signpost. Yeah, it's a toy hammer. I don't remember. Didn't clock him on the head with a squeaky hammer. Oh, I remember now. <laughs> Am I going the right or way? Yeah, all RPG games where you have a hammer. Oh no, I've been made tiny. Don't worry, I'll just smack you with this hammer. I don't think that's a good idea. You're big now. Why wow, do you really have to scan this often? No, like... Oftentimes the areas are um, distinct on where they are. It's just that I have no sense of direction whatsoever. Like mm. this, they said southwest, right? I, I was not paying attention. Someone in the chat has to know. You can't pay. <laughs> maybe you'll find a super secret dungeon full of level hundred monsters. Yeah. And then after Wang gets his shit pushed in, we can proceed with the actual story. <laughs> I don't think we'll be able to figure that out soon. Southwest on the peninsula, go further onto the peninsula. Which, yes, the peninsula is farther inland. Good job. There we go. 
I missed it with every <laughs> ping. <laughs> every single ping I missed. Wow. That's honestly incredible. Ooh, this I feel like song. one of those should have hit. Now, if I remember right, Kadingle is a place where you get a bunch of crazy bullshit and you always come back here. Hmm. And we gotta go big game hunting, apparently, you know? Yeah, why not? You're anime cowboys. You can do it. I mean, we got one big game hunter, and then we also have a, um... We have a dude with a Tommy gun. We have... See, it's the reason why uh, there's no buffaloes anymore, because you killed them all. Are you saying these are buffaloes? Sure. And they buffaloes. Would, they would have been if they weren't extinct. <laughs> I don't think evolution works like that, dude. I'm saying that maybe you came across buffaloes if they weren't all dead. So you're saying the buffaloes were killed before the, this game started? Yes. And now these okay. things moved in. Hmm. Pinging would have been good if there was a bit more, uh, if there was a slight more of a visual representation of something being there. Like maybe a divot in the ground or a prominent rock. Ah, a grave. Yeah, a grave would be good. Like, like pinging should work like a chocobo hot and cold in Final Fantasy 9 or something. Yeah, where it tells you if you're closer or hotter to somewhere, that'd be good too. Yeah, or or, or if it's just used for, like, optional treasure hunting. In instead of, like, actually finding where to go. Well, shit, Clive is poisoned. Again. Something tells me that Clive's luck has, uh, been modified since I last loaded the game. Has normal luck, Clive has normal luck, Jeff still has bad luck. Ah, so everybody's just normal. Poor Jeff. Jeff deserves the bad luck he gets. No one deserves bad luck. Jeff does. Oops. You're making me want to root for Jeff. I mean, you could, but everybody just basically jeers Jeff. Damn it, I can't grab a box. What the hell are these things? Gagisen? Those wings should not support them. I know. According to all known laws of aviation. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. As we joke, it may in fact be anime. According to the laws of evolution set before us by Lucifer, those wings should not be able to support you. <laughs> I remember Lucifer. Uh, week two. What is that? Earth? It's like three gray. It's like three brown bars. Uh. I guess that would be Earth. It is indeed Earth. Very nice. You know, this goes against Final Fantasy logic. Earth should not hit flying enemies. Well, I mean, it's flying low to the ground and a giant fucking spike is hitting them. Maybe you want to grab my copy of Alter Code F. Oh man, I love Alter Code F so much. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Someone in the chat says they're being turned to stone, and that's how they're being damaged. Uh, hard makes touch. a lot more sense. We got hit by hard touch. Uh, shit, that's a status effect, I don't know what it is. Uh, I don't think I can cure that. Hmm. 
disease. Oh, fuck. Do I have anything that cures disease? What does disease do? I guess we'll see. It means he's a little leper. Yes. Oh. He'll now do crazy amounts of damage. But his accuracy will be shit. Yeah. And he's using a gun and not a sword, <laughs> so you know what that means. A leper highwayman? Yes. <laughs> Good. Hmm, I didn't see disease do anything, but we have something to cure it, I believe. This man has high base damage, but low accuracy. Obviously, I didn't give him a gun. I could just do this animation forever. I think I can. And on that day, Wang found a new pleasure in life. Making wing making women dangle over ledges, yes. Good job, oh. you might be dick dastardly. <laughs> 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 Wait, no, wait, what was the one from the Perils of Penelope Pit Stop? The Hooded Claw, yeah, it's one of the weirdest names. What the fuck is that name? When you say Hooded Claw, I think of the High Priest from Gungeon except as a claw. Apt, I suppose? Is he just Dr. Claw with a hood? Probably. He pulls the hood down and his head is actually a claw. Wow. Like, I think these are supposed to be demons, but they sure don't look like them. They look more like Tigermen. What about Tiger Demons? Uh-oh, uh, Jeff is diseased. Tigers what are demon generally known person. for their flight way. I mean, I know they're not supposed to look like it, but they got the stripes and shit, and they're yellow. I can't believe Highwing is fighting the Cheetah Men. <laughs> cheetah Men! Dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun! <laughs> I don't know the uh, Dwayne and Brian the song. Yeah, you can say what you will about the game, that soundtrack rocks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have not once gotten a single treasure chest, I've only been status effect. Fuck this. Okay, so... Antidote in Virginia, because she's got bad luck, and then get the medicine to Jeff because what? Because I need Jeff's gun. Wang's no good. Very bad day. Yeah. You gotta help me out here, uh, Atla. Was Kadingle the place where you would just get all the other tools and shit? Because it sounds so familiar to me, but no, I don't know. No, you don't just get tools out of nowhere. They're all over the place. I'm trying to remember why Kadingle is so familiar to me. Well, let's find out. Yeah, it's just a recurring dungeon. I know that you fought Boomerang in it back in Wild Arms 1. That might be it. And Ultra Code F. Hmm. Going to the spooky door means I'm gonna go right the fuck back there, but whatever. Ooh, treasure. We got a coin, a duplicator, and a Gela card. You know, I should scan these guys and figure out what their weakness is, because just shooting them is kind of frustrating. Yeah, you really should. Also, note that the game is kind enough to give you a pretty good chunk of Lucky and Gela cards. Yeah. Like, they did the same design in Alter Code F, which makes sense, because it was made, like, what, a couple years Gosh. after 3? Thank you, Yar. Yeah, it was the space elevator in one. Ah. And as you know, they said it's the ruins of a big tower in this one. Might be the same one. Who could have guessed? My continuity! <laughs> wow, so you're saying that a place in a later game with the same name as the earlier place might be the same place. Right? Wow. You know what, Chillin? I played a Final Fantasy. You can't tell me otherwise. What? what? 
I just thought Final Fantasy taught me. Final Fantasy taught me that the world is rebuilt every single fucking time. Which means we thought the same place. Final Fantasy tells me that there's no continuity unless there's money in it. Yeah. Welcome to Final Fantasy X-2, where we're gonna do a fucking... We're gonna have... There um, wasn't money in that, that game was dumb. Yeah. If, yeah. if by dumb you mean fun, yes. So, what do we do to make this subpar main character in the subpar game sell? So, we'll slap Ivo Lice on it. Make him a pop idol. But they, yeah. They've done that for like the past, like, fucking eight games or some shit. A Final Fantasy X sequel, or a what if statement, where is what if, as in, what if Jack, Titus, and Oro never went to the future? What if Waka was died. even more racist? I, I feel like you guys aren't on the same page as me when it comes to changing dresses. Okay. Because goddamn plain dress was fun. No, I need to go. He just never existed. Here. Never met you in the game didn't have nearly enough of Waka being racist and saying Bleatsball. Bleatsball. No, Bleatsball. Two E's. Bleatsball. There you go. Yeah, Clive, you're not you're not gonna get poisoned ever again. Wind Ward is more important because Thunder is kinda rare in this game. Check out that clear time when you're done using skills. Adds personal skill that no. Ooh. That's a gun Yeah, let's uh, let's be absolutely sure that um, that uh, Clive never gets confused ever again. Memo Pen, of course, gets rid of amnesia. Uh, I kind of want that on. Um, I want that on Virginia. Also, I, I, as I said before, the name of this stream is a blatant lie, Wang. What? Well, no, now now it's Hi Wang. Never mind. Yeah, I changed it, it because just, you it mentioned Wang earlier because it was a lie. Other people have the name Wang. Yeah, Wang is actually a relatively common name. Did Did you say it was a blatant lie, Wang? Because that's a pretty good one. Yeah. <laughs> blatant lie, Wang is pretty good. That's true. <laughs> it's about time to die, Wang. You know, I feel like my name would lend itself so well to just villains with cat with corny catchphrases. Yeah, when when yeah, you finally yeah. when you finally end up breaking down after playing too many bad games, we can call you Crywang. <laughs> no, you can call me Crywang from all the bitching I do with certain games. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> God, we, I'm gonna have to remember that. Uh... Just wait until you play Ride to Hell Retribution, <laughs> which then finally forces you to do an LP with him after he does all that dark. <laughs> Then I could be like, oh man, I thought your name was Highway, not Cryway. Well, you can kind of see that for Grimrock too already. For a brief, like, 12 seconds, I'll be happy with that long, circuitous plan. <laughs> oh yeah, Wang, I, I, I hope you're ready for an hour-long update. Uh, that's normal fucking Grimrock too. it's so long. Yeah. It's gonna be one hour of Chitlin drowning. I mean, that's what you get for not editing out the same fight. Only if it's an hour of Chitlin drowning while Treasure Trove Cove plays. Oh, <laughs> man, you gotta put fucking Treasure Trove Cove somewhere, Chitlin. I was, I I was planning on doing something different, actually. I keep trying to remember the name of that damn game. Like, I remember playing game one point. Give it a try, Wang. I like that one. That should be a fucking... If I ever get gifted the game, we'll call it the, tr we'll call it the Give It a Try, Wang stream. You're not popular enough to have thematic streams. I mean, yeah, but I'm apparently popular enough to be gifted games by viewers. Only like, only like humongous <laughs> games. Those don't count. <laughs> no, I got you, you, I got gifted Eter Pillars of Eternity, which blew my mind because that shit's expensive, isn't it? Oh yeah, that's surprising. Kill Pillars of Eternity. You you also got gifted Alone in the Dark 2008. <laughs> that's not a game. That's Waterboy. <laughs> oh shit! Okay. What? Shut up. <laughs> Uh, what? 
I thought you were an optional boss, what the hell? Yeah, remember when I told you it was optional? You were lying? Of course I was lying. I mean, it's optional in other games, just not this one. How so, resistant to physical attacks do you remember in this game? Also, <laughs> it totally did not tell you it was anywhere nearby. Get fucked. You remember what you're supposed to do with this boss. Yeah, heat it and then cool it over over and over again. You heat it up and tell it to cool it. Gifted game, so you don't have to buy Wang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tell tell tra tell Tress to cool it. No, I gotta I gotta heat him up before I tell him to cool it. Oh boy, poison. I'm out of antidotes. Obviously, you put out the four torches in the room, that will make trash a much more easy fight. This is kind of a... What the fuck? Wow. That looked awful. Oh yeah, we're out of antidotes. I'm sorry, Jeff, but you're gonna die. Oh, oh no. missile. Not my favorite character. It's water, right? Not ice. Uh... I mean, it's probably ice. Most you likely ice, I would say. You figure it out. Hmm. You know what shock is? You cause the solar cell to break by exposing it to two extremes. Hmm. What if I just put room temperature water on it? <laughs> <laughs> what if I just drowned the Trask? He needs 12 FP, so I'm gonna have to... See, the, the thing is, Wang, when you kill him, you gotta make a wish that he's... Uh, I don't think his outer shell was destroyed at all, dude. It looks perfectly fine. Huh. Well, that sucks. Hi, Wang. I mean, you know why it really means that they, they had to make another model for him, which he decided to not to do. I thought I'd have to do this like three more times or something. The game like, just told you you're doing good. Yeah. Also, get like, sure, five. they could have just made effects and then also give him a new model to show you show him what happened. But instead, they told you what happened. Yeah, it's that, it's that old uh, narrative trick. Tell, don't show. Uh, okay, I need to heal Clive. Or maybe Jeff. Hmm. I'm gonna heal Jeff, because fucking that poison is gonna tear him asunder. Here, have a shield, Clive! Watching Shitlin play Goon Rock 2, it makes him Psywang. Oh my god. God, I can't wait for that LP to die. Good. Clive is now immune to poison. Fuck it. What does Inspire do? Um, Inspire is apparently a thunder attack? Yeah, it's that when a lot of games huh? aren't used to that by now. Um, I don't I remember that I at mean, all. I could have I told you that. They did that in Bahamut Lagoon, too. Huh. You know, usually if you see Inspire, it's in a JRPG, it's probably lightning. I mean, if that's confusing, you can always go rename it. I could, it's just kind of something that threw me off. Yeah, that, that, that sounds like it should be a buff, if anything. Yeah, no, he did not name that. That is what it is actually called. The only <laughs> spell he's named, the only spell he's renamed is the water one and called it Flush. I also renamed Jeff. Jeff is not a spell. Just rename it to just make it even more incomprehensible.
Well, two people are poisoned now. Fuck. Ah, oh, Clive, you don't have Go. enough for a lock on. Buy some fuck status gear. I should. Jeff is totally an anime spell. Do not tell me to invoke the rune of Jeff. <laughs> that's what you gotta do. You gotta get your eyes. Oh, god, that's right. I haven't given gotten Virginia's FP up, so I'm. Hopefully, I don't kill Trask this round because I gotta get that EXP card up. Why don't you just do this one? Just rename Inspire to Steve. Okay, good. He's not dead yet. We can't rename them Todd. We already have a goofy character named Todd. That, just, that one came with the game. <laughs> He's good, our Todd. Af our Afro Samurai is Todd. He's good, Todd, though. Todd can walk up to the top of any mountain. <laughs> That's what he does. Oh, I hate Todd. Oh, yeah, just use your cards. <laughs> yeah, I'm using them. Don't worry. Uh, everybody's HP looks fine, so I'll just have Gallows shoot a man again. Oh, you should just use your name card and just rename every character the other character. Another character. <laughs> make, it, <laughs> make it supremely confusing. <laughs> rename Virginia to Jeff. Yes. Or we need Virginia to Gallows. Yeah, guys, don't worry about uh, don't worry about me doing shit. Don't try to backseat. It's obnoxious. What? No. If anyone's here to backseat him, it's me telling him he's wrong. And even then, I don't expect him to do it. I just want to get frustrated by it. Um, what is that? Mm. There's like a magic circle uh, pod behind me. None of us here are here to backseat highway other than to call them all. Basically. Yeah, exactly. We don't actually want him to do the right thing. We're just telling him what it was so that he can do it wrong and we can call him an idiot. Oh, yeah, go uh, smell that. Go, go give it a good whiff. I got a bad feeling because it's you saying it. Do it. Just rub up against a little bit. It's glowing red. Why are you walking away from it, Hawang? Full Powerful candy. Powerful and wicked presence emanates from the holographic archive. You sense something moving towards you from the darkness. Oh no. Except that, that it stopped, so you're fine. But now you're gonna have to fight the Trask again, but holographic form. Yeah. <gasps> the tinfoil Trask. With my card. It's worth ten extra dollars. Is, is that just like a thing where you can refight optional bosses or something? Uh, yes and no, that is, a, that is a bonus boss. That okay. is how you know there is a bonus boss. You need a thing to crack it open later. Uh, it, that one might be Trask again, but it, it, pretty much every other one is not a refight. They're just having bonus bosses in those. Instead of Trask, it's Tarask. No, it's not <laughs> Tarask. It's not the joke we've been making this whole stream. It's just Trask. <laughs> it is Trask, but his name is backwards. You should probably cure that fucking poison. I can't. Point. Also, why can't I fucking... Come on. Virginia, Jesus Christ. This is why you gotta buy... I told you that all of the status gears are cheap and statuses are really brutal in this game. And we just why don't why we have to... He has to keep all his money for more gun. So you gotta get more shoot. What are you doing? I don't know. I should be <laughs> able to flip over this, but I can't. Unless only Brad, Jeff could, unless only Jeff could flip over things. Uh, you can flip just fine. I'm just, you're, the, Wang, this is like really close to the ceiling. There's no room to flip. Oh. Look at the wall. That's a good point, actually. You are kicking the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking moron. That thought did <laughs> not occur to me. My punishment hmm, is. I'm at the highest point of this room. How can I get up higher? I don't know. Maybe because there's no stairs here. I'm sorry. My punishment is time in the Jeff zone. <laughs> We're gonna kick our way up to the sky past the ceiling, guys. Chitlin's favorite show, My Name is Jeff. <laughs> I is might true. I might have to bail and get some antidotes. You might well, have yeah. to! Cause um honestly fucking You know there's more than one boss in here, right? Yeah. Enjoy! If only you can wait, can you rename your gun, your arms? 
No, or else I would have made him do that by now. <laughs> My arm is Earl. <laughs> 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 oh god, we're idiots. Yeah, no. We're just gonna we're gonna have we're gonna have the the, the guns that Virginia has be named Earl and Earl's dog. <laughs> I know she's named. You know she named it the gun after herself. One gun is, is Virginia, the other is West Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hitting these out of the park, dude. <laughs> uh. God, Gallus has like 600 HP. Hmm, I wonder why the tank is not dead yet. <laughs> but he's the mage. We don't know what role anyone is in this game. That's kind of why it's cool. His face sustains him, Highwing. You have eaten many of the body of Christ. Or the toxin occidental. Welcome to the horse theft saloon. Or the horse theft saloon, sorry. Did you ever buy the horses, by the way? No. That's one thing I forgot. Also... Is that like step one of being a cowboy? It is. A bit. Yeah, go buy horses. Also, step two is wetting my whistle. I'll be back in a second. Excuse me, they're not cowboys. They're drifters. I had no idea that highway was DSP. Wow. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> Love DSP. You know, you, only DSP can not be funny. Only DSP can wet his whistle on stream. <laughs> no, guys, I was just reloading. You we know you're there. That's why it's okay. Yeah, I can still hear you with my headphones off because I'm because I turn my volume up to ludicrous levels. <laughs> uh, you, you missed what we were saying. We are saying that only a DSP can wet his whistle on stream. Oh. <laughs> gross. I'm sorry, but I think I have to ban you because of gross. Bye, world. Nah. <laughs> what? You're, you're gonna ban no. him for, for being gross, but not for the Phantom Jacker? <laughs> no, because the, the Phantom fan Jacker is a treasure. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> the Phantom Jacker is funny. DSP, nothing about DSP is funny. Uh, I, I disagree, DSP is fucking hilarious. Uh, where was House Hut? Right here, right? <laughs> Why can't hear DSP from any distance? Hello, uh, I would like to buy one of your creatures with four legs. 200 get the other for four of my top notch horses, sure. Okay, so you said they're settled outside the village. Now, see, the thing about horses is they move faster, and also they don't stop you from getting into a fight. But if you get into a fight on one, it's much cooler. Where's the uh, Where's the merchant, dude? Because I kind of really need some fucking antidotes. Also, you can jump over small gaps with them. Maybe it's inside the inn. Might be actually, or it might be the guy who sells them. No. There's a dis the guy has a distinct look. He's not here anymore, is he? Wait. No, that's not him. We might have a problem? I don't know if I can buy antidotes. I don't know. Can you buy things from the arms department? I'll check, but I doubt it. Armsmeisters are basically your level up station. Go to the gun store. Can I have some antidotes for poison? Cause I remember you walked up to him and talked to him, and then you could sell things. I, yeah, I could sell things for my inventory. Now, see, what you should do is you should go to the gun store and flex. <laughs> no. The only person that's allowed to do that is Gallows. Yeah, you have Gallows. Flex. So you can sell all these items well, to the store man, but you can't buy anything from him. 
my horses. Time to take a train. There's a lot of bullcrap bosses in these games just hiding around. Although I think this one's pretty fair about most of them. Oh god, this is awesome! Holy shit! I told you, horses are great in a fight, because it is the coolest thing. Why aren't we doing this 24-7? You can't fit a horse in a tower, I know, I've tried. This is kinda rad. I mean, I know we're on a treadmill effectively, but- Well, no, our stuff was stolen! <laughs> This is so cool! I got looted by rustling birds when I was on a horse in an RPG, uh... I mean, you gotta be some kind of badass if you can fire a sniper rifle on horse. The horse has to be a kind of badass. <laughs> that was really cool. That was really fucking cool. Also, if you prefer, this does open up a side quest for you. That's very good, but also will probably just it will do very unsavory things to your orifices at the moment. Unsavory things, that's a good way to put it. So we never completed our mission. No, you still need to go up to Cod Dingle, go up the tower. Yeah, but I don't have any antidotes to bring with yeah, me. Yeah, you... Stop maybe you should go to, go, to should go to a previous place that you can yeah. buy things from. Yeah, I'll try the train station. I'm pretty sure there was something there. Let's go find the medicine store at the fucking subway. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I need to get some I Tylenol. I cannot be able to buy items from this one town that I can go. I normally go to. Maybe, perhaps, I can just go somewhere else. Nah, let's go onto the dungeon and die. Oh, uh, we gotta, we gotta do another one of these, cause man, that's like there was absolutely no need to do this, but they did, and wow, it looks really good. Hop to pay. No, it does hop the gap. You don't need to take the train. They just cross gaps with, um, with the horse, right? They stole my carrot! I I am not registering phantomjack.er, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if someone was willing to do that, I'd, I'd totally use it. Well, spo no spoilers, but if you could tell me where a, a store is, that'd be fucking rad. <laughs> Only unless Highway specifically says, I'm fucking lost and I'm a goddamn moron. Yeah. There's no towns nearby with a merchant! Not even Westwood has a fucking. You know, there is a third option for this. What? Robbery. F fucking suck it up. Yeah, I might have to. Being a little pansy and just walk off the poison. I mean, I'm pretty sure you also have a. Do you have a cure status effect spell yet? I think you might. I, I don't, don't think know. so. Well then, yeah, you'll be walking off. Just hop First, back over there. Remember, hop over with your horses. Just remember, when someone finally fucking bites it, they can't be poisoned anymore. <laughs> and you do have a revive spell. Yeah, that does one HP. One HP that won't be poisoned. Oh shit, they took the potion berry. Okay, kill it. I hope hmm. I killed it. Maybe you should kill yeah, the thing, shoot the things that are steal, that steal yeah, first. Yeah, priorities have changed. Got angle. Why can't I get- there you go. It never ceases to amaze me how goofy the names are in this game. We have Kadingle, we have Ragu, Ragula, or... The name I could never remember. Ragua Ragula. Yeah, Ragua Rag. <laughs> it's a Ragu is... Spaghetti, Raguli Galuli, what? Ragu Racula. Ragu is the best. Ah, yes, the bonus boss, Crink and Berry. Yeah, I could take a train and go back to uh, that one town and get antidotes. Why is this tower full of pigeons? <laughs> One of those crank mini guns. I can't escape theft. Yes, Crankenberry has a crank power Gatling gun. What else would he have? Jackula has a grease gun. Okay, I think I spent enough time in the Jeff hole. <laughs> <laughs> Never say that sentence. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, I think I should probably think about my words. <laughs> Rephrase that a tiny bit. I want to quote that, but I don't want to remember the <laughs> sentence correctly to do so. <laughs> Uh, I, I, gotta, I gotta get out of the Jeff dimension. A dimension of utter mediocrity. <laughs> I think I might like Crankenberry more than Jackula. His oh. name is funnier. Man, I gotta do some Crankenberry right now. Um, uh, on stream? DSP? <laughs> I mean, I have to. I don't have any choice. What? <laughs> what? I, I've, never heard of, I've never heard of a crank in an emergency way. <laughs> I just have to crank right now in order to progress the game. <laughs> oh, God, I hate this. That's a valve, you dumb fuck. <laughs> I mean, can't tell the difference between a valve and a crank. No, a valve open and shuts thing. A crank. Di this isn't open and shutting a thing. It's just cranking me up. You're just trying really hard now. Yeah, that one. Was, that one was kind of forcing the joke. I'll admit. <laughs> Making me a little cranky, Wang. God damn it. See, that, that's how you make it work. Now you're just making me cranky. You just said the thing that I said. Oh! <laughs> Jesus Christ! I don't even know anymore. Why are you so awful? Because I, I have to fucking climb up this tower again. Let's flush a bird. Yeah, this is the, this is when the magic happens on stream when the monotony starts. You ruined me with talking of the Jeff hole. <laughs> <laughs> the Jeff hole was admittedly really bad. <laughs> like I feel like I should apologize for that. Apologize Hard to Jeff. Touch. I mean, I mean, who who would you need to apologize to for that? Everyone. Just, just, just like the, the entire stream, a stream-wide apology for the Jeff Hole. I'm sorry I said the Jeff Hole. It was, an, it was uncalled for. You don't just invoke the Jeff Hole willy-nilly. That's how you cause injuries. Yeah, get those rupees. Yeah, they're, they're HP, so, yeah. God damn it. Uh, what are these things? Empusa. A critical hit and it's not dead. That's kind of a problem. It's also a vampire. A stupid one. Idiot vampire, good to know. It's the Phantom Jacker's minion, the idiot vampire. It's not a vampire, he's a robber. Uh, weakness... Thunder, I think. Because I haven't seen a lightning element in this game. I think Jeff actually has lightning. Yeah, you gotta inspire them. Their weakness is inspiration. I'm gonna inspire you to death. Wow, Jeff. You're just fucking awful. Holy shit. What kind of hole did you crawl out of? Like, it's almost impressive how your magic is weaker than Gallows' gun. Jeff, 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 and Jeff Harder. Ugh, that'd be terrible.
Now, revive fruits we could use. Pretty sure you could use just about anything. Also, did I just fucking do that right now? God damn it. Good. Not gonna lie, Ryan, your party looks something, something Jeff. I can't tell what Bazooka said. Fresh something, Jeff. something Jeff. Fresh to Jeff. Okay, boys, left or right? Right. Alright. I. I think that's progress, so I'm gonna backtrack? Or not? Oh, that must open a shortcut, so Chitlin actually has a uh, good idea here. I think this is progress, you know, the stairs going downwards. That's why I said think, because I wasn't <laughs> sure. Yeah, I climbed this tower, go down the stairs. Who knew that the tower went Ooh, down? Ooh, booster kit. Increases the capacity of your ECN gauge by 10. Good. And a blue bracer. Nullifies paralysis. Uh, okay, who could use that? Who do Jeff. we want? I don't think Jeff is worried about paralysis. I'm very worried about Jeff's mobility. I think I want to give Gallows the uh, anti-paralysis thing just because uh, I don't want my mage to not be able to cure. Also, we have the Moonstone, so we could give someone else anti-poison. I'll give Jeff anti-poison. <sighs> you alright? That entirely depends on your definition of the word is. <laughs> I don't think is has any other alternate things. Okay, what is this? Let's uh, observe the situation here and figure out how this fucks us. Oh boy! Hmm. Oh, this looks fun. Oh yeah, this is gonna be annoying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and if you fuck up- Oh! <laughs> There's left a bomb, alright. This that undoes that. Tactics. Hey, I did it. Hooray. No, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what I did, so that is just another example of just, you know, wanging through it. I'm just <laughs> seeing you over here on delay, so you just seem to be incredibly inept to me. Yeah. Uh, what? Hmm, I keep doing- keep trying the same thing. Oh, I wonder how to get this done. Uh. Oh, this- this is not another boss arena. How many floors are in this, uh, tower? A thousand. Damn. It's like the Chrysler building in Parasite Eve all over again. Actually, that wasn't a boss arena, what? Yeah, where Virginia has to fight her long-lost sister. <laughs> Dakota. <laughs> God. West Virginia. Trinity Avenger, they upgraded their triple tech. Yep. 
Senpai, no! How do you like our Trinity Avenger? <laughs> oh yes, our special move of just kicking your ass. How do we get beaten up by such a stupid man? Oh uh. shit, Maya got shot. Yeah, you've been shooting people for the past three days. That's a good point. <laughs> Again, if you just said, actually, I left it, you know, somewhere else, then, you know, they'd be fucked. Yeah, they'd ah, be dead. Guess what, fuckers? If you. <laughs> Virginia, you stupid asshole. You could have just shot his ass, you fucking moron. What mm. if you shoot him? Oh no, it turns out the boss was actually kind of an asshole. The late Lou show. Yeah, he was the fourth person in their group that they talked about who was dead before the game began. Oh, I can't believe Lucio is dead. I miss him already. Well, Virginia, you fucked up. Turns out, he's kind of a dick. How she literally said before, how am I supposed to trust you? You betrayed my trust. No, and she- at this point shield. she- no, no, at this point she was trying to do that to save Maya. But in doing so, she effectively triggered, um, extinction, um, Armageddon event. Even Maya's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Oh no, if I don't give him the shield, he'll shoot Maya again, which, you know, we also have guns and can shoot him to keep him from shooting Maya. Fucking idiot. Or throw him to shield. Why don't they just, they just throw the a phoenix down on Eris to get her back? I don't understand. Why not just throw the shield you have oh. off the side of the tower? Is that what I think it is? <laughs> there they go, the other two. And then control I. And then Janet gets killed, and everybody laughs at him like a fucking. No yeah. Well, yeah, they're gone. Later. Zawaldo! You won't be seeing them again. I figured they would. They have too much personality for them to just fucking be discarded. No, they're they they're quite them. they're quite discarded. Oh, you said that we're not gonna see them again. Yeah, no, they're gone. That sucks. I like them. Is there a reason why you'll seal behind, you stupid idiot? Not because of the precious metal? Are you dumb? Boom, this diamond is a very special thing. I better hide it with these mystical artifacts. Did Virginia just shoot the Armageddon device? She I mean, did. That, again, what if you just shoot it? That, that, that's a thing you can do. Highway, at any point you're probably gonna have to shoot it anyways. Well, what do you mean? It was just, this is just funny, we've been saying this whole time, what if we just shoot it, and Virginia actually did it? God damn. What if, in fact, we shot it, and he's just like, did you just shoot it? Did you just shoot the fucking extinction event device? I mean, in every other JRPG, an extinction event, people still kill it by shooting it anyways. And now we just gotta fight Janus solo. I'm pretty sure he's gonna get annihilated. But just in case, let's make this just so much more of a fucking tire fire for him. Oh yes, if I stab, I if I stab you with this bayonet, I wonder how loud you scream. Hmm, if I shoot yeah. you with my bullets, I wonder how dead you'll be. You really made Janus mad. This man is nettled now. That's not a protect. That was a that was a fucking barrier. Janus is now an angry boy. Yeah, Janus is Janus is a fucking joke. No weaknesses though. Cause he's a normal dude. I do need to build Virginia's uh, FP though. Hey, he just stabbed you. How loud did you scream? 
<laughs> uh, <laughs> she gets stabbed. Bitch, you ain't shit, and she shoots him. His his sniper shark did more damage than stabbing. Good job, idiot. Remember to use your cards, by the way. I'm building up for it. Don't. Why would you build? That doesn't make any sense, Highway. Build up Mystic. I'm use up use, using the cards. Build up Mystic. Use one card on everyone. Well, yeah, just still use a Gala card too. I did. So I'm gonna guard real quick, just just in case. As he tries to stab Clive and see how loud he'll scream. If you stab Jeff, how loud does he scream? He probably howls. He's like, ah, ah, You fucking stabbed me! It's in my hole! <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe Jeff counterattacked. I don't think he, Jeff will, like, howl more like, to me, he's probably, like, shriek or something. <laughs> yes, Tire for Hire, this game, while being very anime, is also extremely rad in gameplay and story. It's actually really good. Yeah, this whole episode we've been saying, why didn't just, just Virginia shoot it? What have you been doing? And then, as if the game was reading our minds, she fucking shot it. Rising Nova. The entire party. Ah, that was kind of a cool ability. Good job, Janice. Get I shot. I told you, Janice is nettled. Right, Nova. I'm gonna swing my blade up and then shoot you. Yep. And then he'll just get shot by a sniper rifle in the back. It's like he, he launches him up in the air, and the guy's like, "Oh yeah, and guess what? She shoots him with a shotgun." And this is when we do basically every FP move ever. Accelerate gun. And Jeff gets shot. Summon gun. You can dive right into three, like, there's no need to play the other two games, but it helps. Yeah. The thing is, the games all take place in the same world and are loosely connected at best, but none of the events of them really lead into the others. They're all separate stories entirely. Um, if you play one and two first, you might get some references to them in three, but nothing is really necessary to play the game and understand it fully. Um, should we gonna put it? Wait. Yeah, uh, putting one extra bullet in Clive helps so much. Like, wow. It's the best feeling in the world when you're not two and done. Yeah, I tried getting into two and I had a little trouble initially. I might have to go back to it after I'm done here. Oh, Janice is dead. Just throw him off the freaking tower. You know, as he falls down, shoot him. I was so close, I can't believe the Armageddon device got shot. Be like your hero, Gogol13. <laughs> oh, <laughs> if only well, he, he didn't have a gun. Well. He did fall off the tower. Well, shoot him. Don't let him just die like that. You make yeah, sure he's well, dead. While he's falling, lean over and shoot him again. <laughs> <laughs> like the fuck? I mean... <laughs> did you, remember? Did you ever watch it? Well, I'm, I'm not... I'm going to get a dumb answer to this fight because I know you didn't. There's a scene in Gundam Wing where in order to like do the ultimate backstab, this woman dumps a dude out of a plane and as he's falling, she just oh, she just steps outside the window, takes a pistol and headshots him as he's falling. Yeah, just do that. Just fuck him up while he's falling. Well, that's all I'm saying. That's why I said go 13, because that's what he does. Just one guy, he goes to assassin, assassinate. The guy jumps out of, like, like after they fight, he jumps out of, like, of a window to fall to his death. But Go was like, no, I'm killing you. And shoots him, shoots him in the head while he's falling <laughs> down. Man, what an amazing penis. <laughs> <laughs> What's that pose, Maya? Like, I'm looking at that portrait and I'm a little confused. You don't see uh, Janice's body, so obviously he's coming back. Yeah. That's why I told you, you should have shot him as he was falling down. That said, sadly, Dario and a guy who was not Dario are not coming back. Yeah. Because they're not Janice. 
Oh, maybe they lived and they decided, you know what, fuck Janice, we're doing our own thing now. They open up a saloon. I feel bad for Todd, he doesn't get any lines. What? Todd gets lines, he's talked to you before, that's how you know his name is Todd. No one noticed this. Oh, I'm a little mad. No one checked. <laughs> Like, I know he's like, strong enough to just move that whole fucking thing. Yeah, I mean... What could your bite it's all over? You, you are kind of an idiot, you Janice. Idiot. You just Why injected didn't... your buddies and they're like, are you guys still here? Why didn't you just shoot him? I okay. can't believe they abandoned me after I just said that I was going to kill them. Fuck. Oh. Wow, it's like my two idiot friends couldn't survive falling off of a large tower. I fucked up, but I promise I'll continue my next job. Who? No, it's not are like I tried people? to get these. Welcome, a... your new antagonists. Say hello no, to the not... JRPG villains. What the fuck? Oh, no, no, it's my other friends who fucked everything up. Not me who tried <laughs> to use our ultimate power. <laughs> Hi there! That was really weird. Slick. His name is Slickster. <laughs> his name is hey. Slickster, holy shit! That's not his name. It is his name. Rename him to Slickster. Yeah, I think I might have to. <laughs> Why did you seek the biomass weapon? Shining finger! As Magdal said, there's a new anime opening if you want to watch it later. As I told you, this game has a habit of trading up on villains as you jump through arcs of the story. Congratulations, you have traded up villains. Janice is no longer really poignant in the least. He's oh shit, that's actually a spear. Body. Yeah, no. Uh, he's been he's been jammed with a spear. It's it's not a gun, it's a spear. Oh. It's called a spear. It's called a spear. Of course it's a spear. Is this a not fucking is this a, is this like gun. in JoJo where you get stabbed with an arrow and you gain superpowers? It's actually a bayonet. Oh shit. You mean the bullet? Bayonet, yes. Bullet. Oh, I see what you're doing. Hmm, should have been seen as rough this year. Well, he did Janice. sacrifice his two friends for powers. I can't believe that Janice inherited the Soul Edge. <laughs> I shall release your power. Who is this old codger? Like, is, like, is it like, it has to be Clive's dad or something, or like, mentor? No, obviously it's the merchant who made the Dark Sphere. Oh, it's, it's, it's his mentor, Professor. Jeff, you're Hello, kind of an. My... I can't help but see I... how much of an asshole Jeff is every time I play this game. People eat off that, you dick. No, he has to do that so he shows how cool he is. Yeah, I don't care about anything. I put my feet on a table. He probably has his elbows on a table. <laughs> we haven't done anything, damn it. I'm still broke. I like how we have the team's table and then Jeff off in the corner. This is great. Of course, it's Jeff. That's what he does. No one even said, hey, they, they probably even offered for him to sit there. He's just Jeff. He was just like, I'll go sit by myself where I get paid. Yeah. Out. He's, yeah, they banished him to the kids' table. I <laughs> like how there's a, a menu blocking Clive and Catalyst's view. Well, it's not really, but still, it kind of looks like it. That's why they should grab the golden masks and stuff and sold it for money instead of just grabbing the important ones. What if we took the Divine Spark and hawked it? Oh, Jeff, or Clive is an archaeologist. God, I keep saying Jeff. Help. What is with they you believe. Jeff today? I don't know. We named Clive to Jeff. Do you all know name of all the Jeff. According to folklore, there's a great war against the demons. Just name everybody the same thing. Maximum confusion. Oh no, he's not an archaeologist, he's a geologist. Make it worse than, um... 
Final Fantasy VII, where you rename everybody to uh, you name everybody to uh, Sephiroth. Hey man, don't 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 knock geologists. Their job rocks. Uh... What if the de what if the demon sp what if the demon artifact was actually a nuke? I feel like that's a thing that's happened in some game, but I'm not sure which. This demon artifact, do you think the eternal sparkle, which is also a demon, demon artifact, has something to do with it? Hmm, I wonder. You see, the people who brought arms to the world are actually people from space. For once, Jeff was right. I hate this. Speaking of, also, you're right. Arms are made of dragon bones, and dragons are Gundams. So... From space. So yeah, th th they actually come from space. <laughs> I like how Festivore was fucking... There was a quiver in his voice as he said that. You are right. Good job. Yeah, I know. I see that one anyway. <laughs> That's a pretty cool town name. Little Twister. Little Twister is a really cool name. Hell, I wanna. We should name other people. They should get an NPC in your fucking D and D games and name them that. You know, I might be able to put a thing there. Go a little twister. Why did you call him Little Twister? Because constantly, we're constantly ac accosted by little twisters. Just make him a monk who does nothing but lariats. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, he has. No, he uses two Uzis, and every time he does a lariat, he shoots his guns. <laughs> I do like Lil Twister as a name. Well, we stopped the bad guy and saved the day. Time for archaeology. I don't know why I'm Gallows, but I'm not gonna change it, because I fucking... I, Gallows is the best. Do you name his name, too? Name him to something that's slightly different, like I said before. Him Hangman. Hangman would be kind of a cool name, but uh, it might be too big for the text box in this game. Too big for text oh, box. Oh, hey, look, you're back, motherfucker. God damn it, I where were you like eight minutes is... ago? What are you talking about? Apparently... Are you talking to Loco over there or what? No, Roikman. <laughs> oh. Someone says he wanders from town to town. Boy, yeah, were Roy... they wrong. Roikman usually follows you as you go from town to town until you hit in-game, in which case he's just random. Uh, pinwheel is something I want to carry like... Ten of. Obviously, you need some breath mint. <laughs> yeah, you do breath mint, man. That cures the stank. Ah, uh, fine. I'll get a breath mint. You get some tic tacs. Cures sleep. I mean, I guess. I don't know why, but when Gallows runs, he looks slower. He's larger. Oh, hey, look, it's that, uh, it's that art style you see in a lot of JRPGs in this era because they were copying the one Ghibli movie. That's a good thing to copy, though. Yeah. Wait, are these people fucking... Are they controlling the world like some weird... Ah, I forget what the name of that movie was called. Illuminati. Basically. You're controlling the world like a Shiba Inu. Slick step. That's a, that's a dog. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, a dog that controlled Silent Hill. Ah, yes. Behold the demon orb. Also, that is not a masked man. That is just a man with a skin condition. <laughs> Are you sure that's not a mask? Positive. See, it, well, you see, it's, it's, like, um, it's like a beauty mask because he has a skin condition. The fortress. He's actually he just got, have his cucumbers on his eyes. He's actually just missing the cucumbers, exactly. Oh, I see. I he see. was actually at a spa, but then they had, to, but then the other two brought, uh, like, had to drag him out because he had business to do. Yeah, he, um, he, was, he was just trying to get a fucking massage, and then the slickster had to come and be like, "Hey, man, Janice fucked up." It goes, "My fucking god!" By the way, Janice is um, Janice has been hanging out with Dagon. It looks like. 
Yeah, speaking of skin conditions. <laughs> <laughs> Rely on that unscrupulous rogue. Oh god, he just kind of walks over the trees like he goes. He even has anime uh, hair, like Jeff. Yeah, he, he uh, gained a lot of anime. Uh, uh, yeah, Jess, your your skin looks a bit scaly there. I think you need. Um, oh, what is hair. that face? Janice, you need some Jurgens. In what? fact, if I find you and I have a name tag, I'm naming you Jurgens. What happened? You were cooler than this. Yeah, he he got he got. Uh, it's the called dark being spear. stabbed by the by the dark spear. He got hit with Soul Edge and became an anime. Okay, it's said west of here, right? It's not like he died. Yeah, we're going to kill him. The guy was going to use shining fingers on him. <laughs> Also, you get to fight Janice like that next. Good. Well, I mean, he's actually, he's actually like becomes he's... a pretty hard boss too. Well, Zoop found power that would I could imagine, oh. but also it's like Yo, um Chitlin, you know how you said that you should be using this for treasure hunting? Look what we found. Oh fuck. Oh, I found a number of gold that I missed. I think it was like three thousand. Finally you can upgrade a gun. No, actually, since you have horses now, you should rename each of your characters to a uh, member of the, hor the, four horse the Four Horsemen. Nah, that's too edgy for me. I don't want to be like Janice and be a nerd. Don't be a nerd like Janice, not like a cool guy like Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Jeff. The Four Horsemen, War, Famine, Pestilence, and Jeff. <laughs> If it's just will be death, no, he's just Jeff. Where's, where's death? Um, he's on vacation. That's why we have Jeff. Oh, Gallows, why are your directions so unreliable? I have no idea where I'm going. On the bright side, you're on a horse. Actually, yeah. you know what we should do now since you've you done your first arc? Yeah. Go back to Jolly Roger. Is that a pirate Wait. town? It is a port town, so yes. <laughs> this just makes the battle a lot better on horses. It does. Now, go back to Jolly Roger Wang. I'm going to get your ass kicked repeatedly, and you're going to thank me for it. What? It's oh like, my it, god, these enemies are cool. When I say that, it's, it's like the... It, 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 <laughs> never mind. Okay, more... I, do, I do like this. He's roaming trees. Yeah, he's roaming oak. Uh. Also, Gallows was kind of spazzing out there for a second. Yes, yeah, the music all of is... the music in this game is amazing, Tyre. Yeah. Like seriously, there's not a there's not a bad track on this OST. And the funny thing is that Wang started playing this because he he used a bunch of this music without ever playing it for his D and D games. It's like I should play this one, and it turns out it's actually really good. I like the sliding tree. Yeah, I think um, I think I used crossfire sequence for a fight where they had to fight like a bunch of really powerful gnolls. And they're and everyone's just like, this music's really good. Where'd you get it from uh, an RPG I never played? And then when you streamed it, you found out like six of the people have played it fully. <laughs> oh, it's such a good game, though. Wow, I can't get over how awesome everything is. There's a reason why it has multiple sequels. Also, you may note by now that as your vagrant is your vagrant, your your vagrant seal goes up, you also get more maximum ECN. Yeah, we got that in the um, what's called in the dungeon. We used the duplicator to get that. Yep, pretty great. Also, I do believe that as your max ECN goes up, those white crystals also give you more ECN. Oh, now that's important. I think it's always going to be 10% of whatever. Is that a have. running pig? Sure. Yes. Also, I see you found a thing I was looking for. Uh, the Greenlands. near jo Well, I don't know if you're near Jolly Roger, but there's no, a I'm green not. area. I... The gear's going to Clayburn then, probably. I'm trying to get to the, uh, I'm trying to get to the, uh, what's it called? The train. Oh, yeah, the train. That's a good place to go. Good, because that'll get us to the Jolly Roger. That running tree has like some junk in the trunk. Yeah.
Pixie dust? Hmm. What the hell is that? Pure status element peral- oh. It was a shame it was saying you're not coming across a treasure chest. Why I'm can't I cross this gap? Because you're not moving. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, damn it. I just wanted to go into Westwood. But no, these stupid dryads had to ruin everything. I am not even on horseback this time. Yeah. <laughs> After playing on horseback, this is kind of disappointing. You missed the horses. I... Ooh, treasure chest. I have no idea who has the good luck. I'm gonna default to Clive. Clive you, don't to, you don't want to explode, Jeff? You know that, well, considering how I know he always seems to have bad luck. Well, let's, let's check luck status right now. Our poor friend, bad luck, Jeff. Oh, Jeff has good luck now, but also Clive, so it didn't fucking matter. Also, they give you status effect cures for getting hit by a trap, so that's kind of nice, I guess. I don't know how long that'll land last. I kind of like how every stat is represented by a number, except for luck. <laughs> yeah. I feel like for stat, one of the uh, stats for luck should have been ugly. <laughs> ugly luck? <laughs> it should be one of those things like a fortune cookie to see what, what's your luck today. Fucked. Damn. <laughs> well, Fuck is a good status for luck. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Jolly Wa Jolly Roger, right? Jolly oh, Roger. I gotta, I gotta walk there. I don't but even. The train remember. doesn't go to Jolly Roger. No, it doesn't have train tracks to the Jolly Roger. Though as a positive, scary. I'm so powerful that uh, I could just cancel kind of encounters. Kind does not have a train next to it. I don't remember where the Jolly Roger is. Time to ping it. No, I already revealed it, so I can't ping it. So did we lose our horses? No, there's st they're still at the train station, just at the other one. Oh. We didn't bring our horses on the train, god forbid. <sighs> because you had to pay for the tickets for the horses, and your characters are very stingy. Yeah, just look at Jeff, he keeps bitching about money all the time. Well, that's because no one's been paying Jeff. I wouldn't be working if, it, if they didn't pay me. I'm going towards uh, the wrong town. Luckily, I, I could just cancel all these encounters for free. How do you recharge your ECN? Uh, sleeping at an inn or finding those white crystals in a dungeon. Uh, finding white crystals. Fully yeah. charged. <laughs> God <laughs> damn it. First off, in. Yeah, it'd be good to take a quick rest here. Especially since you can just drop your... But luckily, since you have higher, uh, higher vagrant seals and ECN now, it shouldn't be too painful. Hey there, darling! I doubled the price of the inn since you robbed me. Have a good sleep. Am I going to need my money for anything? Because I'm about to dump it all in the fucking engineer's house. I'll take that as a no. Let's upgrade our guns. And actually, you did. Whoops. Now what you gotta do is grind money and pour all of your upgrades and shoot. I could upgrade Clive's bullets to four. God, Gallus' gun is garbage! Holy shit! It's pretty much always gonna be garbage, to be honest. Yeah. There's a shotgun, put it all in shot. What the hell does hit do? That's just accuracy, right? It's 
still not entirely sure what weight does. Somebody said it modifies Gatling? <clears throat> the amount of FP it takes uh, it, uh, per bullet uh, when you use Gatling. Crap, I gotta do this again because I can't cancel out of the dialogue. Put it all in black. Okay, Atla, where the hell are we supposed to go? Where Get you your horses. Bring your horses here with the call whistle. Uh oh. Uh oh, what? A, there's no store here. B, I don't have a whistle. I can't believe I forgot to buy a horse whistle. So now we gotta oh. take the train back. <laughs> You're going to get your ass kicked, and I'm going. You're gonna thank me for it. I stand by what I said. And also, why don't you go save Amigo? I saved Amigo. Did you? Okay. No. But I might as fucking well wait until I get this damn whistle. Also, where the fuck am I going? I don't know. Where are you going? I have no idea half the time. Hmm, let's go to the train station. Oh, I don't know where I'm going now. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck are train tracks? I, I feel like I have to call out Atla for saying Jolly Roger was a port town. It is. Seen water. This is, is the, 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 the ocean is the sand. Yeah, this world is so sand fucking... Is, sand is not an ocean. No, it is in this world. You need a sand ship to go through it. Chitlin, this yeah, world is so irrevocably fucked that there's no ocean anymore. It's the white... This is the great white. The great beige. We now have sand boats. You take rides on giant land movers. Hello, horse. Let's go. Fuck it, I'm having an encounter on horse. I want to have fun. I just love the look of the enemies that are just, like, looking side at at you. There we go. Now uh, Gallows' gun is actually pulling some weight. You know, you gotta be a pretty impressive caster if you could cast while running at top speed. I never really looked that hard to be a mage. Just do some wavy hand gestures, it all works out. Yeah. I mean, you're running, you're not using your hand when you're running. Or your mouth, whatever it is. You I mean, you're also a mage. You don't really have a lot of just stamina, so trying to run, you just get exhausted super quick and fall over. That's yeah. why you ride on horseback. Yeah. Uh, well. So we had to take the train back to get a horse whistle. So we can take the train back to Jolly Roger and so, use the horse whistle. Let's Although review no the cavalcade of mistakes I made in five minutes, or in like one minute. Did you sell? Why didn't you sell the Gala card? Just wait. Bruh. Uh, okay. Did you just not yes. buy any. So here's the mistake we did. I went to Jolly Roger th needing a uh, whistle, not, and uh, didn't have one, or so I thought. So we went all the way back to Midland to Did buy you them. Have some? I thought you had some. That's why I didn't tell you to buy some. I had one. So I went all the way back here, and for some god awful reason, in the back of my head, I thought a a, 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 a horse whistle was two thousand Gela. So I sold my Gela card in anticipation of that. Maybe you should check and see what the price is before selling. <laughs> before buying, selling. Maybe. Maybe I'm mm, kind of a. It's okay. Mm, I wonder it's how much is hamburger. Of Gala, even if you're a huge idiot. You 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 wait until they ring you up and you you don't, you don't just slap your money down down on the counter and say take what you need. <laughs> yeah, that's what the high one is gonna do. It's like he goes, hmm, I wonder how much his hamburger is gonna cost. So he sell gives a bank loan. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I hate myself.
I'm gonna sell my family heirloom before I figure out what the price of this car is. I mean, you can, you might kind of have to. I'm gonna sell this crazy precious artifacts before I buy myself a shirt. <laughs> I mean, that that dinner plate could probably be worth twenty bucks. Oh yeah, I'll take it for a thousand dollars. Okay. It's kind of funny because you mentioned that because then. I've been playing Necromunda recently, and in that ga in that uh, tabletop game, there's an item called a Mung Vase, where if you roll on a, a a random item chart and roll that, you have to buy it. Now you could sell that, and you have to roll to see how valuable it is. One of the rolls is you get a single D6 of credits, and you are and you thank the merchant for your generosity. The next day, he's fucking gone. So you effectively get robbed of a Mung Vase. That just sounds not worth it at all. Well, it, it's a, it's a it's a fucking it's a trap. Cause like, four of the six rolls is good money. One is just it's worthless, and the other one is you got robbed. Okay, so so are we going back to Jolly Roger now? Uh, Chili or Atlas said I had to jump into the green zone. You make your save before going into the green zone. I could do that actually. Uh, Atla, do I need to go to Jolly Roger in order to do this? No. Alright, hang on a second. I mean, worst case scenario, if you get your ass kicked, you got Gimmel Coins. Yeah, I have Gimmel Coins. Also, I will tell you where to save. You'll be using one out here. I ain't doing it yet, but you'll be using one. Just jump that, just jump that... Hit that sick-ass ramp. I've hit that sick-ass ramp, I'm guessing the forest? Yeah, you go into the forest. I, I guess, I mean, I'm still behind. I can't behind. ride oh, a yeah. horse in the forest. What the fuck? I can't dismount in the forest. What? That's because okay. Because the forest is for chocobos only. That's okay. This is wild arms. You won't be seeing many forests out here. Yeah, that's true. Also, I, I like... One, one of... One? <laughs> walk into it. Alright. Uh... Also, get your ping on. Oh, get my ping, get my guns on. Well, first off, I gotta kill these Saracenians. I mean, get your ping on. Start looking for shit out here. These things are way faster than us and do a lot of damage. Is this hmm, thing supposed to kill a reskin? It's a reskin of an enemy you faced before. Hmm, I wonder yeah, how hard you're gonna fight. Ow! We were on horseback that time. <laughs> oh, he fought them before. Um, like, yeah. a critical hit did 28 damage. Hmm. We might have to run. Going to the forest is a good idea. Oh, Clive killed one at least. I wonder if I should stay in this, because these things are going to probably murder me. Well, they're weak to fire away or something. I, uh, I can't run. Hmm. I run when you can murder. Fight. <gasps> no. Use the fire coin, Jeff. Jesus. We talked about this. You're gonna get your ass kicked real hard out here. You haven't even found a place yet. Yeah. Well, they're not attacking us, which is good. Also, hello, James. A little late, but yeah, hello. I can't believe they're making Clive so downhearted. Depression flowers. It's like playing the entire Alone in the Dark game. On. Jeff, you used uh, a gem and did zero damage. I'm baffled at how bad Jeff is. Damn it, Jeff. Fucking Gallows has to do absolutely everything. And now Gallows is downhearted. Jeff is the only positive one now. 
Oh, I think I know what Downhearted does. Depression. Well, it doesn't reduce Clive's damage, which is good. Wait, what the hell am I doing? Why would I ever use magic with Jeff, ever? There we go. We actually survived, holy shit. Misery gas. You get gassed and you just feel like you cooked a Pop-Tart on the floor. <laughs> Okay, so get your ping on, right? Yes, start picking about. I also need to eat an acorn. Eat your acorns! <laughs> Peppy acorns! Your antidepressant acorn! Eat this pine cone, you'll feel better! I mean, it worked. Oh, I found it! The secret garden. Ah, uh, yes. A powerful Oh, garden. shit! It's an Al This is the Alu from uh, Wild Arms Alter Code F. I don't think it was in one. But Alter Code F came after this, Highline. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm saying. Alter Code F picked up the... Oh, I no, it's just... I can't believe this is... Wait, this is from the sequel. I can't believe it. Oh, no, that's just a ribbon. Never mind. Secret Garden. You should probably talk to this small child. I can't, because she's a mute, probably. Yeah, you're catching on. Highwag knows his anime. Yeah. I know this trope. Is Jeff staring at you and you don't like it? Is this Jeff's plot arc? This is a little bit of Jeff's plot arc. Oh my god. <laughs> We're just fucking... <laughs> Jeff... Just leave. We don't need to be here. <laughs> God damn it, Jeff! Tom, get the fuck out of here. It's <laughs> done. Go be an asshole to the mute girl later, Jeff. What's even going on there? Basically, Virginia just kind of popped up and just bopped Jeff in the head. You're for being, being a dick, Jeff. Yeah, corrupt soil and flowers are crying. You bring me the eternal sparkle. Northwest, huh? She Trump talks to the trees. Place. She's a she's a Oh what the fuck is that Dr. Seuss character? Morlock or something? Cat in the hat. No 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 the other one. The the star bellied sneech. No no no. Wow, there, there's a lot of uh there's a lot of Dr. Seuss characters. It's something that talks Boom. to the trees. Or speaks for Lorax? the trees. Lorax, thank you. The Gorax. Hey, thanks! <laughs> Just like, well, thanks. You're great. What? Jeff, we already got paid, you dick. The corrupt soil. Quick, gallows, use your holy men powers. Florina, because she's a gardener. Use your powers of Christianity on that soil. What? Well, this was great and all. You're a really nice lady. Time to break your boxes. Give me... Wait, wait. There we go. Jesus. He's a priest, right? You must use Don't his be faith. nice to me. I'm Jeff and I hate nice things. <laughs> <laughs> What's in here? You know, it's only thematic if you're going to throw all of our boxes around that you be Jeff. <laughs> oh, damn it. You're right. <laughs> Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Oh, I'm Jeff and I hate being nice. Rah! Vandalism. Rah! I'm out of here. Fuck this. I'm Jeff. Throw the boxes at you. Immaculate performance. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Northwest. Oh, I feel awful after doing that. Corrupt soil in the Northwest. Just... Do I... Oh, I gotta get my ping on, don't I? Everyone kind of feels awful after their Jeff. 
Hey, Gilla. 2,000, nice. Hmm, they should go ping. Maybe you should ride a horse now if we get to walk around. Oh, that certainly looks like corrupt soil. Decaying labyrinth. I'm guessing I should save here. Well, whatever, I'm gonna do it anyways. Decaying- oh. For some odd reason, I thought it was decaying ruins initially. You just go over there and find out it's an SMT dungeon, aka teleporting maze. Oh god, is Dante gonna come up and try and kill us? And he's gonna flip switches. <laughs> Dante just cook, cook. Oh, what? Wait. That's what Dante does, had... he flips switches. And Yo, we had a full ECM gauge and we, we couldn't escape, and now we're fighting dolls with scissors. We're fighting Rachel. Ah, yes. Welcome to the Decaying Labyrinth. Remember when I said to use a Gimmel coin? I used it before. Use a Gimmel coin. You remember when I said that you're going to get your ass kicked? Oh, Welcome to the Decaying Labyrinth. Heartbroken is I can't cast spells. Yep. Oh. And something tells me these things are weak to fire. Now, oh, see. fuck. Now, see here. You never need to come here. This is a side area. You do not have to do this. But you are going to get your ass kicked. Why yeah. is he going to thank you for this? Do you know what your reward for doing this is? Chef's ultimate ability? No, what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You get to grow heel berries. Oh. Oh. That thing you can't buy. Among other items you can't buy, such as carrots and tiny flowers, but mostly heal berries and revive fruits. Revive fruits is actually a lot more important. Everything hmm. that is, everything that is a fruit-based healable, you can grow in the secret garden. I Once can't you believe have the soil. I can't believe the reward I feel like we for this horrible dungeon here at the this farm. Point. You totally should not be here at this point. But Wang, I know, will stay here until he headbutts a wall <laughs> enough to clear it. Which is why they tell him why he's here until he actually came here. <laughs> I can't believe you're manipulating the stu stream mythos. I've known how to do this forever. Oh, they're not weak to fire. What the fuck is this? Maybe. Oh, of course you're not weak to fire. Huh? They have... Of course you're not weak to fire. They have scissors made of metal. What were you trying to say, Atla? Maybe you should analyze, analyze them. I can't. Gallows is depressed. <laughs> Worst case scenario, you can just fucking leave and go go back to Claiborne and buy some status gears. Get on the horse! I can't buy it at Claiborne because he's not. The oh no, wait, he is. Shit. Never mind. Hmm. I should use my one acorn on the one person who I don't cast magic with most a lot of times. I didn't. <laughs> okay. Good job axe kicking the thing to explosion, Jeff. Oh wow, our EC engage is six. That's, you're a big guy. Undead reptile. Yeah, kinda. Hmm. Yeah, oh. by the way, these enemies are undead. Yeah, if only I had some kind of holy ability. Heal them. Cast heal. Can't. Gallows is depressed. Hmm, the person who has heal and analyze. I should probably give my acorn to somebody else. I didn't know what it was until I after I used the acorn. Shut the fuck up. We we had to get Jeff out of the dumps, okay? It's very <laughs> yeah. important. We had to pull Jeff, Jeff out, out of the bottom. press. Why did I make Jeff not depressed? <laughs> oh, I already used... whoops. Damn, good shot, Gallows. Hmm. 
Yeah, oh, so here, here's the deal. You can come back here later, and since they're undead, that does not mean you can beat them with heals. This is in Final Fantasy. It oh. means they resist everything, but are neutral to fire and weak to light. You don't have light yet. Wait, this is... Uh -huh. Hence why we're here in this dungeon. <laughs> well, we're not here for light. We're here for berries. We're here for fruit, Chitlin. We're here for darkness. I mean, is, wait, is berries even a fruit? I think they are. I believe so. I mean, if tomatoes are vegetables, things are... What the hell is that thing? A rat yeah. monkey. Wow, that's a... That's a weird-looking creature. Yeah, at a certain point with uh, fruits and vegetables, it, it kind of gets kind of nebulous. Uh... What kind of rat is that? That's a very good question that I cannot answer. Or is this tail? Can a rat... It's, you call it two things that have a tail, and it doesn't have a tail. <laughs> it evolved a tail away. We don't need a tail where we're going. We're in Evo. We're gonna climb out. We're gonna climb out a branch. But it ceases to be either a rat or a monkey at this point. Instead, you just have a small child that breathes his bad breath on you. I should probably sort my damn inventory. That's no, fine. Man, if only we had our horses in here, I could jump that gap. You should probably, uh... Put a block on that switch back there. Uh, I've already activated the switch, so it doesn't matter. Also, man, you're pretty far back. No, I, I, was, I was just thinking, actually, you're, you're, you've been in the room for a little while. Well... You know, Festivore said that they have metal, so I'm gonna try something really dumb. I'm gonna use Jeff to use. Ma I'm gonna make Jeff use magic. Cast yeah. inspire. Lightning yep. strike. Do it. I did it. They're actually <laughs> resistant to lightning. <laughs> Good job, oh, Festivore. Who would have thought they had safety scissors? <laughs> <laughs> I get it. No, no, Jeff, you are forbidden from using magic ever again. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. You can't use magic, it's dumb. Ugh. <laughs> magic isn't bullets, what is this? It's like the only one on your team who can actually do damage now is Clive. Clive and Gallows, if Callus wasn't just a big man baby. Luckily, they're just debuffing me, so that, that that's okay, I guess. They're resistant to Earth, so that doesn't work. They, uh... They dodged Clive's bullet. They're resistant to everything but fire. I used fire, though, and it did nothing. It They're resistant to fire. No, they're Maybe not resistant they to fire. Them. They just are not weak to fire. They are neutral to fire. They resist everything else and are weak to light. Oh, this is considered an undead, too? Everything okay. here is! Hmm... Oh, a place called the Clang Labyrinth. We to light. I I, I thought? wouldn't think animated dolls with scissors would be considered undead. Well, you know, it could be a doll that's possessed by a ghost. I mean, you it could, but that? that's not like the first thing I go to. Yeah. Like I would think it's paper because it's using paper cutout. Oh yeah. yeah. I wouldn't have thought a ghost would be possessing a doll, considering the fact that. It Dolls with scissors, uh, floating dolls with scissors are naturally occurring. Okay, yeah, it's a, uh, it takes damage to fire. It's just that I used a fire gem with Jeff and it did nothing. Well, that was your first mistake. <laughs> who would have thought that using magic with a guy who can't use magic was a good idea? Welcome to Festivore's content where he criticizes every action everyone does. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna make any content myself, I'm just gonna criticize dreams. 
God, when, is this, much work. when are you gonna get out of this fucking funk, guys? I need magic. God damn. Will they ever get out of the funk naturally? Well, I'm out of fire gem, so it doesn't fucking matter. I'm just gonna have to attack with gallows. You know, being depressed kind of sucks. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a grand old time being depressed. <laughs> But you get to spend so much time in bed, it's great. Yara woke up and just thought no. <laughs> All the fucking time. God, everything here is so fucking tough. Yeah, because you're not supposed to be here. Like, it feels feasible, but damn, this is awful. What's next? You're gonna tell me I can't use heal berries because I'm depressed? Come on, fucking tell me that game. I'm begging for it at this point. You can't turn down Jeff's speed, he's too fast. I think I wasted the lock on on a weak target. Jeff is too fast to be Wait. slow. A fatal flaw has occurred. What? what? Uh, Clive and Gallows are un are uh, unloaded, so now they're just gonna show Ryukin. Everybody is out of ammo. How long is this fight? Maybe you should reload. That's definitely a possibility. All right, seems like a thing you should probably do when your main mechanic is firearms. If anyone in this call or chat has played this game, please don't tell him about this dungeon. I want him I to see it. I know nothing about this game. I want him to see this dungeon. Part of me is half afraid, but also just ardently curious. Like no EC engage. Uh, what? Uh oh, we're locked in. Also, cool typing, Festivor. Hmm. There's a box. You can take it. Whole box. Okay, let's see. Why, why, so why so scared of the box? Why? Just open it. Part of the seal that decorates the chest is chipped. Could have been faded with time where someone responsible. A strong stench of death creeps out from the small crack. It transforms into a human shape and unleashes death. This is a fucking mimic. I knew it. No, it's just a boss. Ringkeeper. I mean, it's kind of like an elaborate setup for a mimic. It's just it's it's it's, it's the chest tank. You're you're fighting, uh, what was it, the stench most foul? Yes. Yeah. Phantom hazard. Oh fuck! What is that? Ow! What the fuck? I should not be depressed here. And it- oh fuck, it auto-attacks everything you do to it. Is there no way to get rid of status effects without healing items? You can die. Hmm. 
That's certainly a possibility that I think Wang's going for right now. I think that's an inevitability. Damn, even Clive's getting rocked here. The ring keeper. Oh no, I can't believe we're fighting a wrestler. No, he's just the ring keeper. He's not the king of the ring. That That's what I was thinking. A wrestler, not the wrestler. You oh. dick! Oh, nice. Good job, Gallows. The ring keeper is the ref that gets knocked out in the first five seconds of the fight. The ring keeper is the Spanish oh. announcer stable. Clive got rocked. I was really hoping for that lock on. Bitch! Snack. There goes Jeff. So, a thought occurs. If you are going to try and grow fruits after this, why worry about conserving fruits after this? The answer is because <laughs> they don't grow instantly, but still, you mm. shouldn't be as pressed for using them as you were before. You should be a little more... They're not mega elixirs. Who knew plants weren't instant? What the fuck did I do with Virginia? Well, I mean, Wang's been playing a whole lot of Odin Sphere, so he may not know. I can't believe we're gonna start growing sheep. Love well, my sheep I vine. think we're all dead. Yep, we just got ring keepered. Damn. This thing is faster than Virginia. Right. He gosh. is. He is a speed boy. So this uh, isn't a mandatory fight, is it? This is not mandatory at any point. You can do this whenever he you want. He said at the start of this dungeon that this is all entirely optional. Well, I I mean to to get to cleanse the uh, the soil. This is not mandatory. Nothing about being anywhere near this dungeon is mandatory. What are you saying is it's important to the stupid side, to the side quest that we're doing? Is what yes. If everything in this foresty area, you don't need to ever do at any I'm, point. I'm, I'm aware of that. I'm talking about the side quest where you cleanse the soil. Yeah, I think we're pretty fucking dead. Yeah, you don't need to cleanse the soil. No, he means... <laughs> I feel like we're going in circles with this conversation. I, mean, I don't know okay. what you're saying. You just gotta cleanse the soil. That's all you gotta do. It's a side quest. You don't gotta do it, but you gotta do it. I think that's a good oh, point to stop the night. Just getting fucking soil. annihilated. So you're saying we don't need to cleanse the soil to grow a garden of heel berries. God damn it, oh, yeah, you, you do. I, I'm yeah. gonna try. I'm gonna try to do this tomorrow, but I'm gonna come back with uh, acorns for one. Mm. You're going to get your ass kicked, and you're gonna thank me for it. Why don't you just grind in this place? You get super buff, so next time you meet Jan, it's not like he's that, the only one that changed. You just come back from buff as hell. We right come back with a wheelbarrow full of heel berries. You're all buff. You're the ones with heel berries in your pants. But yeah, 